this is it chilly now. I need to snap it off. But <laughs> what's going on? I got tired. Okay, I'm like tired. Yeah, you tired. You what you tired of? You tired of people making false reports about you? Okay, because whoever you are, you're independent, but they're making it seem as if like you're not independent, like you're codependent. Like, you need help. You depend on your parents. You live with your parents. Tell them, bitch, my parents, if anything, my parents come and live with me. I don't live with my parents. They come and live with me when they need to. The fuck? Yeah, everything is going to be all right. Don't worry about shit. Because they for sure talking shit about you. But you are independent. You're very much independent. You don't need nobody. You get that shit on your own. They can make an assumption, like, you get money from people, people pay your bills, but... Ask them, what, where, where is the money at? Where is the money at? Where is the money at? The hell? Right? Ask them where the money at. If that's the case. And it's tiring you out, because these assumptions and these false reports are trickling over. It got people... Treating you a certain way. That's unfairly. And that ain't right. That ain't right none whatsoever. Yeah, I did. I don't care. I don't care. It was driving me insane. And it only happened when I turned the damn camera around. Like, what the fuck? What's going on, Spirit? What's going on? So come find that mental entrapment you've been in them sleepless nights. Uh, well, somebody's in the heaven. They need to heal because somebody for sure. You know, they're saying you're not independent. Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. You're not independent. You're codependent. Okay, they're talking about you don't, they think you don't know your self-worth. They're saying that you don't have any self-worth. You sleep around, you're codependent. Everything that I just said. But the truth is, you're independent. You stand on your own. You heal yourself. You ground yourself. You balance your life out on your own. There's nobody here helping you and assisting you with what it is that you got and you do. Nobody. Just you. What is this? Five of Wands in reverse. You don't got no opponents. You don't not opponents. How can I say? You don't have other suitors. This is like other suitors. You know, like mates and people fighting for your attention. You don't have any of that. Whoever you are, you independent and you on your own, and you don't even. You might not even have a love life. All right. You may be focusing on your children or healing your inner child. Yeah, but you feel like nothing's coming up out of it. So, it's crazy because somebody may be getting tired of these false accusations about them and their independence. But at the same time, you're like, damn, I'm getting tired of y'all talking shit about me and saying all this stuff about me. But at the same time, I'm I'm tired of being alone, too. Like, I really do want somebody. Somebody like, I wish the, the, these rumors was true. I wish I did have somebody, huh? I feel that. What's going on? Four swords in reverse. It's because you stressed out. Yeah, you 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 stressed out. You tired. You need a break. You're losing the courage and the strength that you had. You want to give up. Yeah, but stand your ground and protect yourself and protect what it is that you're fighting for and what you're doing right now. Don't give up. Continue to stand your ground. The Queen of Wands, continue to stand your ground. Please do. Continue to stand your ground. You'll eventually get your wish for fulfillment. Is somebody in your family or you once have a family with that is making these rumors because they're jealous of you? Temperance, once again, it could be a Sagittarius strongly in here. You will heal. You will be balanced in your life. This person is a cheater, a manipulator. They are untrustworthy. They're lazy. 
They don't take action. This person is the opposite of independent. Somebody may want to rush in with some type of communication and let you know this about this person as well, too. But they're full of shit. So get ready and be patient. There is a, a lover that is coming to you, though. Okay, you may not see it, but it, it may be a lot of slow moving going on, but it's coming. There's a there's somebody that's coming towards you. And it's your divine partner. They coming to you. So some, and somebody's going to be ashamed and regret, too. Somebody's going to be ashamed and regret over the shit that they just said about you. Because you will recover. You will heal. No, you're not using it. I said you're going to braid hair. I was going to, but your hair already braided. Do not touch the hair. Leave it alone. Yeah, leave it alone. Leave it alone. You will heal. You will recover. There's going to be a brand new opportunity that's coming to you. When it comes to finances, it could even be a job, an offer, a loan, a grant, something. It's going to be something that's coming to you that's going to help you to recover. But if somebody's ashamed and regret. You like, if somebody's still, is still ashamed and regret and crying over spilled milk over something that happened in the past, maybe that's why they're going to give this to you. Yeah, because somebody for sure was five of swords in you, one up in you, trying to win at all costs. They wasn't using their intuition that when they came to this situation. It's three fives, five, 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 but they know it got to be some type of change and transformation for what it is that they did to you. They are refusing to walk away from you. Temperance, again, somebody needs to heal. There will be healing that will be done. The star, double confirmation of healing, energy, balance, energy, restoring energy. What's going on? Can you bring me the gallon of water? Why get sleepy like that? Ooh, they, somebody gonna be walking away, walking away, right into a new, brand new love, Empress. Cause you deserve it. Cause you deserve it. Some of you guys, you had to walk away from this person because you knew you didn't deserve this shit. Whatever it was they were doing, you didn't deserve it. Hey, so why? See, but this passionate new beginning that you got is stressing you out. It's stressing you out because, again, some of you guys, it's crazy because it's the rumors, it's the false reports. It's because you so used to being independent on your own, you don't. Getting in a relationship, getting with somebody, and it's going to make you feel less of a woman or less of a man. It's going to make you feel like, all oh, the rumors are true about me. Who gives a fuck? I know how that feels, too, though. You're going to make you feel like, oh, yeah, because you want to stay strong. You want to stay and keep the image up that you can do it on your own. Like, it's like you're trying to prove a point. But who, who, fuck them and fuck the naysayers. Fuck the people that stand up and gossiping about you. It doesn't even matter, but at the same time, you like, I don't really no <laughs> like somebody's gonna keep their independence but at the same time whoever this is rumor and gossiping about you is either somebody in your family or you once had a family win you know that this situation is dysfunctional and it has to be over and it has to be done you have to because whatever was going on behind your back in the dark ten of swords once you find out once you find out you're gonna be feeling real devastated you're going to be feeling devastated. For some of you guys, you're trying to keep a family dynamic together. And these are the same people that's talking shit about you and your independence. So you need to let it go. But if somebody you have a family with, and they, you, you feel obligated to them because you possibly have a family with this person. Have a family with this person. You may even have children with this person.
somebody knows it's time to let go, but they, they, they don't want to. Or they scared to. They stressed out. Because somebody may feel like that other person needs you. It's something with the other person may need you because they don't know how to do it on their own. But for some of you guys, this person already got somebody else. I don't know what. They already started a new beginning while you was trying to make it work for them. Okay, there is some secrets going on. There is something hidden from somebody. Somebody needs to heal. Somebody is secretly healing over the fact that somebody... So somebody may feel some type of way because they've probably been holding off on a new beginning all while this person was already starting a new beginning. Who is this temperance in here? Somebody needs to get them swords about their back. It's, it's, it's stopping you from healing. Stop. Get out of that feeling down, out, and defeated. The emperor. Take back control of your life. But you feel like you're losing control. You're losing stability. Somebody could even be a possessor of control. What is this? The star in reverse. If somebody's losing all hope and all faith in this situation, they feel like it is no healing that can be done. Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse because they, somebody's emotionally detached or somebody's emotionally manipulative and a liar or somebody is a manipulator which caused somebody to be emotional and emotionally manip very emotional. Somebody's like very emotional. The situation gets somebody very, very emotional. So they just don't want to. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a very manipulative baby's mama. They're very, very manipulative. Okay. The person could even be a stalker. Somebody watching and stalking somebody. Every since they detach from them. Or this is a manipulative man that manipulates their baby mama. Okay, there's a there's a situation that's being manipulated by a child possibly. Or a family dynamic. I don't know, y'all take it however it resonates. Stop procrastinating, waiting to the last minute to get something together or get something done. So you feel like dealing with this person, you always procrastinate. Some of you guys feel like their energy trickles over on your energy. And you don't get shit done dealing with them. Or it doesn't get done the right way. You feel like this person sends you a lot of psychic attacks. They mess with your mental a lot. A whole lot. Okay, because they don't want their plan to get exposed. Again, so somebody, you may feel like this person is fucking with your mental. You were putting your life on hold and your stuff. You putting your life on hold because you were trying to save a family dynamic all while they were starting a new connection on the side. They're most definitely trying to harm you. What the hell is going on? Well, somebody don't want you to recover. They don't want you to heal. Secretly, though, you will heal. You will recover. Somebody's going to stress you out to no end. Somebody don't want you to heal or recover from some type of heartache, pain, stress. Seems like, child, what is up with these person? <laughs> This person is crazy. What is wrong? 